When the Silicon Valley Research Lab OpenAI unveiled DALI earlier this year, it dazzled the Internet. The tool is seen as one of the most advanced artificial intelligence systems for creating images in the world. Type a description, and DALI instantly produces professional-looking art or hyper-realistic photographs. It's incredibly powerful, said Hani Farid, a digital forensics expert at the University of California, Berkeley. It takes the deepest, darkest recesses of your imagination and renders it into something that is eerily pertinent. Dali, a name meant to evoke the Pixar film Wally and the surrealist painter Salvador Dali, is not available to the public. It has been used only by a vetted group of testers, mostly researchers, academics, journalists and artists. But on Wednesday, OpenAI announced it would invite more people to the party. The company says it plans to let in up to 1 million people from its waitlist over the coming weeks, as it moves from its research phase into its beta stage. It is unclear if DALI will ever be fully available to the public, but the expansion is expected to be a significant test for the platform, with many researchers watching out for how the technology will be abused. OpenAI has kept DALI closely guarded out of fear that bad actors could use the powerful tool to spread disinformation. Imagine someone trying to use it to fabricate images of the war in Ukraine, or creating realistic images of natural disasters that never occurred. On top of that, generating an image with the platform is so energy intensive that company officials worried its servers would melt down if too many people tried to use it at once. The exclusivity created buzz, as droves of people tried to get their hands on the cutting-edge technology, the latest version of which is called DALI 2. The company started a waitlist, which quickly ballooned. The excitement also spurred a free imitation, DALI Mini. Its renderings, while far less impressive, helped to turn AI image generation into a hobby for some.